I'm ready when you are. All right, hi. We're back, Jonathan, the cars, Jonathan fixes series, okay. Today we're gonna put seat covers and cushions in a truck, F-150, I don't know, 13, 15, uh, well, 13 model. Yeah, let's get to it. So we had to take the headrest out. That goes over there. And we got some zippers. Ta-da! Now there's probably airbags and all sorts of stuff in here, but we're not worried about those. We're not changing them. So you unhook it. That's all that's in your seat. Not a whole lot. Ah, there we go. And then you gotta pull this stuff through. Ugh. Pull this up. There's a lot of seat time in this one. It's got a big hole in it. And... Ta-da! Wow. Then you gotta take these little Dugas here out. Dugas? Yeah, the things the uh, the headrest goes in. That's the official term for them is the Dugas. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> All right, and since we're not worried about this phone, I'm just gonna take it out of the way. This little guy, right there. See, it's, it's encapsulated in the foam and all that. Ah, broken nail, man. Ah, there we go. Been in there a while. And then you pull that out. You set that down. We don't need this. Now we gotta do the same thing on this side. Came right out. Now we gotta go around to the front, take the cover off. And then we got hall rings too. All right. Man, that's gross. All right, now we gotta take the airbag out. Most dangerous part of a whole car. Yay. Then you gotta take this out of the sleeve. That's the actual airbag. Yep. Alright, then you take this off. And you throw it away. That's all that's left. Hmm. Now we gotta do a little cleaning. Ah, under here is a bunch of clips. Come right up. Mm. That hurt. Well, my nails aren't real long when you break one of those off. All right, so what do we got to do here is take all this junk off. Ah! Ooh, you know what we need? We need my, my super duper tool. Now this one's not as fast paced as the last video because I haven't done about a billion of these things. There we go. You, you don't seem as uh, angry since your trip. No, I, I went on vacation. I went to Germany. It was really nice. I loved it and we rented a really cool car. It was a BMW 8 Series, the brand new one, and it drove by itself. All right. Now, What'd you get it up to? Um, well, it was over 210 kilometers an hour. 210 is 130 miles an hour. Oh, okay. But it was above that. So somewhere between that you and- Stop counting to that Oh point. my God. This is garbage. Ah, there it is. The Velcro. Well, I don't know why I'm being so nice with this. I'm replacing all of it. Now, we need more tools. We always need more tools, and this is all broken. Man, it's not gonna be fun to get off. Ay, ay, ay. Where's my dad? Yeah, super duper tool. Man, that light is probably not doing real good on your camera, is it? Yeah, uh, it's great. some cool effects, actually, to be fair. <laughs> it's gonna be some cool effects. <laughs> the other way, who's Johnny? <laughs> so there's a bolt on the back side you gotta take out. This piece falls right out. So now you gotta unclip all of this. Some of this garbage, whatever this is. See, this is all broken though. Man, that's gonna be tough to put back on. We'll do the best we can. Just to clarify, you did not break it, John. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I'm gonna clean that. I don't know. <laughs> nah, it, it was already broken. We take that up. Then we take this stupid Velcro stuff out. There. Oop. All right. See, look, everything's Velcroed on this thing. That's weird. Let me take all this out. So this is a seat with no cushions or anything. Well, that's just the frame. Well, the frame of the seat then. It's yeah. kind of weird. I mean, kind of weird. It just looks weird. Now the new stuff is different. Ooh, new car smell right there. Are we doing both of the front seats? We? Well, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm here with you. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> no, we're just doing the driver's seat. Apparently, nobody has ever sat in the passenger seat on this. Huh. Only the driver's seat. 
because it is worn out. Ah, we got to be careful going back with these. We can't take them out the way we. We can't put them in the way we took them out. Yeah, and we'll just set this one in the back. And we'll get the cover. You see how strong I was on that? Yeah. You have to put that in the comments. Look how strong he is. Yep. All pretty and new. This is fun. You got to line all this garbage up. See, and we have to actually have hog ring pliers. You have to buy a tool for everything. Somebody's going to put in the comments, oh, you don't need to buy those. You can use these. I already own them, so shut sure up. All right. There's one. And two, oh, oh, oh. oh man. So three little rings and some Velcro are what hold your cushion cover to the cushion. All right. Looks good. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking it. Looks be better. <laughs> the other one was garbage. <laughs> All right, then you gotta get your corners straight. Make sure I get the front and the back clipped in real good. And then this goes around here. <sighs> this goes under here. I forgot to do that first, so I'll do that now. Then you gotta put that back under there. Man, these people on this intercom have got to stop. They're messing up my audio. Okay. I'm probably gonna cut myself, so I'm gonna have to go under and find my flashlight. Found my flashlight. Look, this is quite disturbing, this angle. <laughs> Why? Good Lord, I wish this thing would, see, popped right in. Popped right in. Now I gotta go in the back. Dang, this piece keeps popping out. See? Oh yeah, look at there, look at there. Now I gotta connect all this junk. See right here goes into that piece. This piece comes around. It's hooked over there to cover up all the mechanism. Then you peel off this. And you peel that off, you throw those away, and you put that there. And then you roll this under. Look at there. Now you're going to have to edit in a before and after shot because... I mean, I could have done that if you told me at the time of the before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I still don't like how this is fitted, so we're going to figure out why it's doing it. There's why. Get in my belly. All right, now I need this. This slides over all this garbage. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to. Oh, let's put the side covers on first. It'd be easier to move the seat down. I said I was looking for my Dumafluchi. Oh. My thingamabob, uh, whatever this thing's called. Man, I probably should have got the power screwdriver. This is going to take forever. I'm trying to remember the order it goes in because this is kind of broken. Hey, look. Looks right. Snap together. Whoops. That little spring-loaded do lolly doesn't want to. Hey, there we go. All right, and we're back. Look at you helping people. <laughs> yeah, like I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Everybody's so dang needy. I have to take these little loopy things called hog rings and put them in here. Oh. There we go. And then you gotta press all this stuff down and make it ring free. And... <laughs> this is the karate chop method. Let's see what happens. Nope. See where that went? Yep, there it is. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> it's snowing. Oh, we really ought to get a shot of my car. Yeah, we should. Yeah. See if people actually know what it is. This is hard to do by yourself. Oh. Ta da! Oh. <laughs> Give me a heads up. <laughs> and now we have to zip it up. And then is that it? What do you mean is that it? I'm bleeding right there. Here, see? Me. I need a band-aid. Oh, that's nothing. I can see it now. Now we do the zippage. <laughs> Grab this. Ta-da. All right, let's see how that looks. All right. Nice and very, very nice. So we have gone from Old busted to new hotness, and man, does that look good! Job well done. You want to do your sign out thing? 
tell you what we did and you know the drill. Oh. Yeah, um, this is Jonathan. We just put a seat cushion and cover back and bottom in an F-150. Um, comment below and um, oh yeah, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, um, ring the bell, all that stuff that everybody asks you to do. Other than that, I think we're done and uh, job well done. They should be happy and you know, as long as they pay the bill, they'll get the car back.